Hi, this is Nick Withy. Today we're going to do a more detailed approach to filling a cracked wall. Here's the crack, a pencil line in this case. Place the scrim tape over the crack, nice and flat, using the blade. Slight pressure on the tape and just peel it off like this. Here's some filler I mixed up earlier. Now I'm going to show you how to put the filler on the scrim tape. Now this is not going to be going in one, this will be a two fill application. We're going to get the big blade like this, opposing thumbs, like this, not like this. If the blades are new, get some sandpaper and rub down the metal. This will help keep the filler on the blade, otherwise the filler will just slide off. Get some filler on the blade, go over the tape, get some more filler on the blade, repeat the process. Where it's starting to go thin, apply more filler over the, to cover up the tape. That's what we're trying to do right now, just cover up the tape. We're getting there. Now I've covered up the scrim tape, we've got those horrible edges. Now this is what's important. We're going to get the blade on this side. The outer edge is going to be touching the wall, paper in this case, and the inner edge is going over the scrim tape and dragging the filler off. This is an open blade and this is a closed blade. When you're filling you want to be using a closed blade, not an open blade, dragging the filler off like this. Let's put some more on. Don't be afraid of putting too much on as you can always take it off again. Always clean your blade. Nice clean blade, fingers on the back, close and drag. Perfect. Now I'm going to come to the other side. I've done the left side, now I'm doing the right side. The right edge of the blade is touching the wall. Left edge is over the scrim tape. Drag the filler. Just go over it a few times until it looks good. This looks good for this demo. When this is dry, 20-30 minutes, we can go over it again. For filming purposes, we haven't got 30 minutes, so I'm just going to go over it again. This time we swap the blades. We do this because having a wider filling blade will help spread the filler over a larger area. There is about there and there. My blade is where the tape is. Large blade in my right hand side, in my right. I'm going to come across out there. The right side of the blade is covering the tape, the middle of the blade is covering the edge of the dried filler, and the left side of the blade is putting on more filler onto the wall. Remember, you can't do this in one fill. It has to be done at two or three fills for excellent results. It's a repeat process with the larger blade, exactly the same as the smaller blade. Let's get this little snots off. This is as good as it gets. Now we can let the wall dry, rub it down with some sandpaper, wipe it off with a damp cloth, ready for painting.